Yeah, what's going on, Heat Nation? We're back with some more Madden 21 action, and today we're going to be dissecting Mike Blitz 3 out of 335 wide. And this play is the equivalent to bunch tight end on the defensive side of the football. It is that frustrating, it is that annoying, it is that consistent that you're going to see it on the defensive side of the football, especially if you're going into the higher weekend league games, the higher head to head games, or even the average player trying to learn it, trying to play it in his own head-to-head -head game. So, of course, what makes it so frustrating is that you're able to go into 3-3-5 normal, put safeties in the outside linebacker positions such as this, and then you could audible down into 3-3-5 wide and then have those safeties in the outside linebacker positions that you wouldn't normally have when you just straight up call 3-3-5 wide. Of course, more safeties means a faster defense, able to stop the run, able to stop the pass, get those big hit sticks, all that good stuff, get those good animations, yada, 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 which makes it pretty frustrating of a defense to go against. But of course, after labbing extensively and going 21-4 and in Weekend League, 38th in the world, I have proudly able to say that I have some battle-tested offense on how to completely dissect and destroy this type of defense. So, of course, we're going to go to Mike Blitz 3, and then we're going to go into old reliable PA deep end. What makes this play on defense so frustrating is that you could blitz, you could shoot the gap and stop the run pretty easily, and then, of course, play coverage defense. So, we're going to set up the play to blitz and manually blitz. Oh, what's up, Arky the Rock? Sorry, you know what? I'm actually not going to look at that message. I know it's probably not very nice. So, of course, that is going to be the setup for the blitz on defense right there. And he's mainly going to shoot the gap. And on offense, you guys can see our play art. What we're going to do is we're going to put Mike Evans from his deep end to a manual five-yard in route. We're also going to put Ronald Jones, the running back, on a wheel route. And then we're going to put Godwin, the B receiver, on an out route so he's going to be the distraction to make sure ronald jones the running back gets open on the wheel route and then we're going to have a high low combination from miller the slot receiver to mike evans and then of course the old reliable post route and then of course mike evans is also going to serve as the low for the post route creating a double levels concept so we've got the high low here and then of course the levels from evans going all the way across the field to antonio brown's post route so enough ranting by me so i have the blitz set up the first read is going to be scotty miller's in right there and you're able to just turn off field and make a play okay now i kind of want to know what he sent me you're trash oh cool <laughs> i only smacked him in a head-to-head -head game it's cool it's cool it was his super bowl i kind of beat him ruined his fun anyway so we have the play set up we got the blitz set up the first read is going to be scotty miller one more time inside position pass and because he's already on an inside fade giving him an inside position pass kind of puts him on a little bit of a post allows him to just get underneath the safety it lets you turn up field just a little bit faster and say you're not feeling comfortable with that inside fade the running back wheel route is going to be the next read because it is a manual blitz. He's sending six. In theory, you're just not going to have that much time in the pocket to be able to just make your reads. So we're going to have to do two quick ones. That's going to be Ronald Jones on the RB. Of course, when everyone's blitzing, he's going to be the low man in the backfield, able to just kind of turn up field and then pick up as many yards as possible. So one more time, we got the blitz set up. We got our offense set up and then just give it a nice little pass to Ronald Jones. That one was a little bit of a lob, but you're able to just kind of get your blockers. And because he's sending six, there aren't going to be too many defenders on the opposite side of the field to really stop you if you're able to just get into open space. So we have we have it set up on defense, and now we have the play set up on offense. And what you could do is re-block the running back, and actually, and then, of course, you're blocking six, they're sending six. So you kind of have one-on-one -on -one matchups all across the field. If you have edge protectors, then I highly recommend you could do this. And then, of course, just dot your way down the field. And because you don't have a RB on a wheel route, you don't necessarily need Godwin on an out route. You can put him on a drag. And now you guys have a little couple mesh concept in the middle of the field. You have a high-low. And, of course, you have a levels concept from the post-drag the in and fade and all that good stuff so you can make your reads such accordingly like this and then you know of course just read the defense and see what kind of adjustments he makes and then counter it but i just kind of want to put out the blueprint for you guys you guys make your own adjustments to what you're comfortable with and then move on accordingly so let's talk about defensive coverages and one of the most popular ones that i typically see 
are double Mabel concepts. And what I mean by that is by taking the two outside linebackers or safeties in this case and putting them on hard flats. And what that does is that basically covers almost any route on the sideline that I could throw at them. If we throw the streak corner motion flat from our running back that you know we know and love in pistol spread, it'll get covered pretty well because that's three routes on offense and then three coverage zones on defense. And because of that, they do on both sides of the field. If we were able to flip it, it, they got us covered, trust me. And so on the defense, by the play art, the weakness is going to be the middle of the field. And realistically, there's only Bobby Wagner here or the user on defense that is going to be covered by it. Of course, typically they're going to be in some sort of hook zone or, or, you know, they'll have a manual blitz. And then, of course, they'll just roam around the field regardless. But that is a different issue for another time. So let's set up the defense. It looks something like this. Of course, they want to make it look like they're blitzing, but obviously playing coverage. So I'll have it just like that for us. Uh, while I rant there on offense, let's set up the play just like that. And of course, our read is still going to be Scotty Mailer, the wide receiver on the inside fade. And then, of course, Mike Evans is that a little higher to low read comparison. We could see him go there. We're going to give him a nice inside precision pass. And then he's going to pick up the nice easy 10, 15 yards. So we got to set up one more time. And as soon as he clears the linebackers, we're going to give him a nice inside position pass once again. Pretty simple and straightforward. And, of course, if that fade isn't open, you're not feeling quite comfortable in hitting it. The little in route by Mike Evans is just going to do absolute wonders. All the zones are going to the outside of the field or going over to the top to stop the post or fade making that route a little bit too easy to hit i'll hit it one more time real fast it takes a while to set up both the offense and defense eventually your opponent is going to get slick and he's going to put that outside linebacker instead of a hard flat he's going to put him on a vert hook but don't worry it still does nothing just like that the streak is going to push him out of the way and uh well same as always, start a nice in, pick up yards. He hit that route combination a couple times, and now, hey, the user's got to intervene. He's right there. He's ready. He's he's baiting you on it right now. He's making you think he's going to guard it. We set up the ball on offense, but we're not feeling comfortable, not feeling comfortable with that post route on the opposite side is going to be right there waiting for us. We went over post routes way too much on this channel. I'm not going to spend too much time, but it's wide open there for you. I like the possession catch that I pick up the 20. Of course, set up the defense one more time. And now let's look at the running back wheel route. So the out route by Godwin, he is our last check down desperation read. But of course, he is mostly set to make sure Ronald Jones is able to go across the sideline absolutely wide open. So we're going to call a hike and we're going to see how he pushes the zones out. And then Ronald Jones just right there is able to just kind of make a nice little catch for us. And then we're going to be able to turn up. So one more time, just like so. I mean, there's only two people rushing or maybe three sometimes at most. So you'll have time in the pocket, especially if you have edge protectors. So it's not difficult to be able to just hit the ball down the field, take your time, make your reads, stay calm in the pocket, and then just kind of consistently dissect his defense eventually you're gonna get a guy he thinks he's slick look at that he's got vert hooks on the field he's got the purple deep blue you're not gonna beat him deep he's got the middle covered hey look like he got some lockdown defense we got the play set up on offense yep and boom it's it, there's backup routes we got options of course that doesn't really exclude the fact that that in route is still going to get absolutely wide open if he puts a vert hook but i mean let, let's assume that he was able to block it that one time the out route by godwin is still going to get open and if you want to get vertical across the field as we set up this play one more time we're going to flip it and we want the post on the short side of the field and what we're going to do is we're just going to re-block the running back just like so like okay or not we're going to re-block the running back just like so. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to motion Mike Evans to the other side of the field. And then we're also going to put him on a crossing route. Of course, you're going to need hot route master for something like this. And you guys can see now we got a little post crossing route concept. We got that little inside fade to push the zones out. And then we have the backside in route as basically a check down. Of course, we're going to block the running back because we like some time on this pocket. We're just going to go. We're going to make some reads, make some reads. And then, you know, of course, in this point right here, Scotty Miller is able to just kind of push the ball down the sideline. We have it set up on defense one last time. And then, of course, we're going to put Evans back on the crosser and you know of course one's going to be the distraction to the user and the one is going to be the other one we hit and then of course the backside in route is going to be the distraction but if you guys could see there 
boom, the post route is open, the crossing route is open, and now we just hit the backside in route. That's going to wrap up this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and able to pick up something and learn from it. This defense is very frustrating to go against, but of course we have an answer for it. And hopefully you guys were able to use that and dissect that defense and make the opponent rage quit just a couple more times for the one time for the one time. But other than that, good luck everybody.